Hi guys and welcome. What can I say except you're welcome? You know that song from Moana or Moani or whatever it's called. But look what we've got here today. We have this lovely, the Flopsy Bunnies uh, crystal art creations and the world of Peter Rabbit as we continue many more characters of this wonderful series. I actually got this from Amazon. Um, so if you want to get this, the uh, Kriya Craft or Craft Buddy, whatever it's called, down there is on Amazon. And as you can see, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So we've got three bunnies. We've got some flowers we have to do. And we have a little bit of foliage down below. Uh, as you can see, we'll tear this off here. And remember, guys, this is the card. Remember I said in a, few, in a previous video that we're going to be doing one in one full session to see how long it takes well this is the card we're going to do that on so this will be done in one session as you can see these are our bits and bobs so we've got some maybes there we've also got some lovely glittery ones in there as you can see that pink is the same pink which i believe what card was it one of the cards had that puddle duck i think had that color um and as you can see you've got your envelope again i'm not going to use it as a card i'm going to use it as you know it's too good to give it away as a card guys it's it's you know it's far too good um in here we've got our snazzy little queer craft i keep saying queer craft um we've got our snazzy little uh pen there so i'm really excited for that and we've got obviously our little bags i don't use these bags so obviously um i like i much prefer the bigger ones so yeah, let's get going. So uh, let's take a look at the colours so far. So we'll take this down a bit if we can, if it will let us. So uh, let's take a look at these here. So I've never done a card in one full session before. So yeah, um, this is going to be a little bit different. But as you can see, so we've got all sorts here. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. <laughs> it's just because it went in order so <laughs> so all sorts of colors like a cherry plum um butterscotch sort of flavor there and then a coffee sort of color and it sort of balances out and then you've got three colors of ab um kids and ab three colors of the sparkly ones down below so i think what's best first of all is if we work on focus points so what i want to do is i want to work on the bunny rabbits uh I think we'll start off. I'm really going to spice this up a bit. I'm going to start off with that coat. So, because uh, that's like the only colour that we use with that colour. So, that would be a good starting point. So, uh, yeah, I've got a lot to get through. I've got to cover three days worth. So, uh, things to discuss. And, uh, yeah, let's get going. So, that's a lovely little cute colour. But when I saw this, I was like, yeah. There is another Peter Rabbit where he's like, it looks like he's with chickens or something. And he's looking under a fence. Um, so I'm looking to get that one. But I keep debating on it. So I don't know whether I should or not. But yeah, that's beautiful. That's spot on. So let's rewind to Friday. So Friday, I uh, I think I was doing some filming. And then I went over to my mum's in the evening. I mean, I can't remember what I did during the day because... It's too, like, it's gone from my memory now. <laughs> but yeah, so Friday, um, I don't know what video I did, but one of the videos I did before I left for the train, and obviously it was my relative's birthday on the Saturday and Sunday. Um, so I knew that there was a train strike on Saturday, so I had to travel Friday night. So I stayed over there saturday and sunday and then i came back on tuesday so uh yeah and quite bizarrely my parents um they have their birthdays like very close so you've got my mum on one day and then the day after is my dad's birthday so it's quite interesting to have two birthdays in the same month but very close together so so yeah, then it went on to obviously just, you know, look at, view it, watching YouTube videos, catching up on emails, and then it got to Saturday, and we got up, and obviously I gave my relative her presents, and one of her favourite things is Brazil nuts, and uh, she was really happy with that, 
But I ran out of time for like wrapping paper. I tried everywhere to get flamingo paper because she likes flamingos. And yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know what it, you know whether I could get it. And Amazon were charging like ridiculous amounts for just uh, flamingo. Plus it weren't on next day, and I thought, right, well, I'm gonna have to bite my tongue here. I'm gonna have to get Amazon to wrap it because if you pay three ninety nine, Amazon can wrap it for you. Um, but obviously you don't get a choice of the colour. Now it will either come in a box or it will come in like a gift bag. So yeah, obviously before I gave it to her, I opened it up because when you open the package it's already in the gift bag so I can check it before. So it was in a purple gift bag. Um, one of my friends, Julie, uh, over at Sunny Stormy, uh, or Sunny and Stormy, something like that. She really loves purple and purple and black, so hopefully she'll see that on the video and she will like that. I think she did comment on it actually. She was like, That's my favorite combo. So, uh, so yeah, so then after that, shortly after, my sister gave her her presents uh, I just got a Brazil nuts because I didn't really know what else to get and my sister got a, a new chain because her chain broke where her necklace because she wears a necklace but it broke somehow and she got her a necklace but then she couldn't find the, the symbol S and because that's the start of her first name so she was looking everywhere, she had all the drawers out, she had all the wardrobe out trying to look it. Then she came in the front room and she was like, right, I've had enough now, I can't find it. And she just, I don't know what made her do it, but she went to change the battery in the clock because she noticed it ran out and she moved it and there it was. So it was behind the back of the clock and she was like, yes, I found it. And Hannah, my sister, got really worried because she was like, what's wrong? And she was like, the way you said you, the way you said that sounded like something was wrong, but yeah, she was happy, so she got Hannah to put that on her necklace, and yeah, obviously wore it, and then after that, shortly after, I think we had some, uh, probably some snacks or something, and then she gave her her second present, which was a lovely cream and gold. It's like cream, but it's got like gold for the pillowcases and that. And she got her duvet set and I was like, I really like that. I wonder if there's like a men's version. So, yeah. Because I could do with buying a few duvet sets. Unfortunately, I've only got the one duvet set. So obviously every Sunday, I uh, Sunday is like utility day. So I strip all the bed off and I wash everything. You know, pillowcases, bedding, all that sort of thing. Um... Even like my sofa cushions I'll wash, you know, that's like washing day. I do still do washing throughout the week, but, you know, I like to get at least three or four loads done per day. So anyway, after that, we then uh, had a notification to say that Paul was coming round, which is my sister's dad. And yeah, so he came round, then we had something to eat, so like party food, which was like nuts and sort of... Um, peanuts crisps that sort of thing you know corn beef sandwiches sausage roll um so stuff like that really and then paul gave hit paul gave her paul gave my relative her presents and she got a box of chocolates pretty much like a selection box and it had like five different types of chocolate bar in it and it said happy birthday on the front. And I should have got a picture really, but she's probably chucked it by now. And then after that, he got her, cause she really likes like the eighties. So she got, he got, I'm getting confused here. He got her a pink eighties t-shirt. So I'll try and get a picture of that next time I'm over there. And then we phoned George because we didn't know whether he was coming round or what because obviously because of the BB and you know work and that he's just started a new job which is basically looking after pets and setting up pets and all that 
to like setting up inventariums and all that sort of thing. But they apparently they have to stay overnight in a tent. So I don't know what sort of job that is, but they basically, I think, I mean, I don't know whether it's part of the circus or what, but when I asked them, they didn't say it was part of the circus. So, yeah. So we didn't come round, so we thought, right, let's carry on. So we were, I don't, I'm not really one for parties. I don't do parties. Um, you know, I'll sit and help, but I don't really, it's not really my thing, uh, you know, dancing around to music. Um, so then, I mean, I don't celebrate birthdays for the simple fact that it's just another step closer to death and I shouldn't think like that but to be fair with you when you're really when you're like a kid it's it's exciting because you get all these lovely presents but then as you go older it's just like a normal day um but yeah so yeah so then they were doing a party like loads of 80s music and I was like oh no because obviously my era I, I don't listen to old-fashioned crap. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like, you know, Lamal. I like Keiji Gugu. I like George Michael. No, I've said that wrong. Boy George. I always get them mixed up. You know, come a chameleon and all that. Love it. Uh, I like the Pet Shop Boys. Go west, life is peaceful there. Um, it's just got a very unique voice. Um... So, yeah, I like all sorts of, not too old-fashioned, but, you know, that sort of thing. So then after that, it got to sort of like 8 o'clock, and that was sort of like cut-off point, because obviously it was getting dark anyway, so, yeah. I mean, you can have music on until 11, because after 11, it's breach of peace, so if we was to play music after 11, we'd probably get in trouble for it, so... So, yeah, we cut off about 8 o'clock and then we sort of cleared up. We normally have, like, a gazebo thing, but the problem is with Josh is he's very clammed up with Vicky at the moment. So, ever since Vicky's been on the scene, he, we hardly ever see him. I mean, it, it, he's, he's not the same anymore. You know, all he does is... It's almost like he's afraid to, like, leave her for one day. Like, I think he's just so, like, attached to her, if you get me. Like, he, he just struggles to have a day without her, if you get me. Is that making sense? Like, I don't know if that's making sense, but... Basically, if we say, right, do you want to come round? He will, like, come round. But then he'll bring, like, Tommy over, which is his stepson. And then, like, within about two hours, Vicky's on the phone going, right, are you OK? Um, and then he sort of has to go. So I'm sort of wondering, well, you know... And then, obviously, because he's got his baby on the way, you know, he's probably too busy working, you know, because he's got a bite. He's got another, basically, another mouth to feed, if you get me. So, uh, you know, it's a big, big change for him. So, we don't really see him anymore. So, or if he does come over, it's always on the day that I've, you know, finished for the day and gone home, you know. <laughs> so I'm always hit and miss, you know. <laughs> so uh, yeah. So after that, um, came in and I think we watched the Phantom, of, or my mum wanted to watch the Phantom of the Opera. So my sister put it on, and then she was like, "Oh, I don't like this," because for some reason it was the very old version. So yeah, and then uh, after that. She was like, now, nah, can we watch that boy with the prosthetic face, which is called Wonder. Absolute brilliant film. So she watched that. And then she was like, I really don't like this. Can we watch something else? So then we ended up watching, um, what was it called? Bend It Like Beckham, I think it's called. No. Terra Biffia, that's it. And I was like, oh, no, not this again. Because... <laughs> Every time that comes on, she just... She, something about that film, and I, I do vouch for that because it is such a wonderful film, and it's a film that I could watch over and over again. The best bit is when they're singing, 
Why can't we be friends? 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 I see that running through your open door. Why can't we be friends? And you know, you've got this big girl at the back of the bus and then she's like nasty and she charges the woman or she charges the girl like so much money to go for uh, to the WC, which is like the toilet. And... Then she sort of, one day she sits on the back of the bus and it's like, she's very unhappy and she, she would never let anyone sit at the back of the bus. So, yeah, she sort of had a big game change and then they built this bridge, which is why it's called Bridge to Derebithia. So they bought, the, they bought this bridge, bought it, they made this bridge. And then uh, the woman, the girl that, Josh Hutchinson's character plays. Uh, he loses his friend, which was the girl played by Sophia someone. Her name's Sophia something. So she dies. Word has it that she um, she swung across to the forest and then didn't come back. So I don't know what happened, whether she drowned in the water or what. So... But Bailey, the, the little girl, she's she's very, very, uh, you know, brilliant at what she does. The acting is just amazing. So uh, just looking at that rabbit on the camera there, it does look very bright. I really like this colour. So, yeah, that was uh, pretty good. Now, I'll pre-warn you, I don't know if we're going to, if this camera will run out. Um... I should get about an hour's worth out of it, but if it runs out, then you know why. But then it went on to Saturday, no, Sunday, or whatever day the 31st is. That's my dad's birthday, which, to be fair with you, I've not spoken to him for years because he decided to run off with another woman, and I don't agree with that. So, you know, we'll sit out in the garden and he'll keep calling me, but I, 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 I just... There's too much hate there, and I know I shouldn't feel like that, but there's just too much hate there, you know. And I can't never forgive him for that. You know, people do make mistakes, I get that, but, you know, it, it, I, I can't forgive someone like that. So, you know, don't get me wrong, he buys me gifts and stuff like that, but, you know, it doesn't mean to say that I'm going to change my mind, you know. So... Yeah, so then it was his birthday, and same scenario, got up, done the usual, and then he came round, I, and then my sister got him some Miguel beer, a army sort of water bottle thing that clips on your belt, it's really nice actually, and then my mum got him a whole nut bar, you know, Cadbury whole nut, and I... I got him a card, but that's about it, you know. He, he, I don't do all the gifts and that. So then I really fancied, and then we had sort of like party food and that sort of thing again. So it's like we have to do it all over again. <laughs> and then I had a really fancied cake, and I thought, well, I can't be asked to go out. I'll order it on Snappy Shopper. And what did they do? They declined the order and said, sorry, we can't fulfil this. And I'm like, well, why advertise it on the page you know it's so annoying and it's always the same store that does it it was a written one but one called church lane or something so every time i order through them they they decline it and they go a total refund's been issued um we we're sorry we can't fulfill it and i'm like well why advertise it so then i was like oh, i don't believe this i'm gonna have to go up the shop now but so I got a pack of cherry bake rolls, one pound twenty five, then a papillat blah, 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 blah. then a pack of apple bramley pies, and I forgot the custard, but oh man, any cake that goes with custard, oh beautiful. You can't be I wish I'd known the recipe, but you can't be Ambroselli custard. I don't know how they do it, but it's beautiful. So So yeah, I done that. And then I thought, well, I'll give him one because he loves his pies. And, yeah, so he had that. Then we sort of wrapped it up again and did the usual come in. And my relatives will watch movies and 
they talk for Britain like some part, sometimes I have to say if you're not come up for air yet because they just don't stop talking and everything's about Love Island at the moment and I'm like oh, no, not this again and so I, I tend to put like my music I tend to put my earphones in and listen to you know YouTube or any extenders I need to catch up on but yeah um I mean, I sort of think these days now, you know, they cut Big Brother, they axe Big Brother for crap like this. I mean, I just don't understand reality programmes. Love Island is absolutely crap in my opinion. I don't understand why you would do a programme on that, but I'm pleased it's finished now because the final was on Sunday. So, yeah, no more Love Island. <laughs> so they can't watch it. And I really feel like <laughs> on the TV we have a control where we can put a pin on the TV. So basically, if I wanted to lock that channel, I could put a pin in it. And for her to watch it, she would have to put a pin in it for her to watch it. Or she can't watch it. <laughs> so I, would l I really want to try and lock that program and then they won't be able to watch Love Island. Because they're so glued into it. Like, they're like, if I ask her something, like, could you do this? She'll be like, no, I'm watching Love Island. Like, so, yeah. So, then it got to Monday. Monday morning, love you. No, that's Sunday morning, love you. Uh, <laughs> and I had a notification to say that my delivery was coming from the... Uh, military watches so I had military watches turn up and then the day after that I got my doll's house binder and my doll's house issues so yeah and you know Monday is sort of like my admin day so that's where I do like most of like checking my accounts make sure everything's allocated you know bills and that and then uh you know, writing to any letters that I need to do or responding to emails. I mean, I check my emails, you know, every day, all day, but Monday is like the proper day where I dedicate it to just emails and letters and phone calls and basically seeing if there's any shipments been sent, like from Fan Home, which I'm still waiting for, actually. I'm waiting for the Starships and Vehicles one to come. So then, after that, I, I can't remember, but anyway, let's just go on to Tuesday, so Tuesday came and shortly got up and my mum said that she was going to the co-op, um, would I like anything, and I asked for a pizza because I, with me, because I'm so busy, I barely get time to eat and I don't really have an awful lot of time to eat in the day. I'm just so tied up with like emails or, you know, filming or, you know, it could be anything and I'm, I just barely get time to eat. And when I do eat, I rush it within about five, ten minutes and then I'm back to doing what I'm doing. So I said, well, just get me a pizza, it's nice and quick and then I can hop on the train and go home. So then... Shortly after that, she came back and done me the cheese pizza. The co-op pizzas are really, really good. They're really, like, decent taste and that. And if you could... I, like, I mean, I like mine a little bit burnt because I like to feel that texture. And, oh, man, it was beautiful. The cheese one is to die for. So, yeah, I've done that. And then she had some salt and vinegar crisps and I'll just do a colour swap there because I've just noticed that we've come to the end of that little thing so I'm going to put these in the little bag I don't like using these but we'll have to go with the flow here but what I'd like to do next is I'm going to work on this little flower because if we get like the majority of the ones that are quick ones done that would be good so I'll just work on that's colour F so I'll just kick that up, I'll have a slurp of the coffee, and then we'll carry on. But that, I'm pretty damn sure that's the same colour that Puddle Duck had. So, uh, yeah. Okay, I'm just going to have a slurp of the coffee and we'll crack on. Oh, I 
don't like coffee with no milk, but I ain't going shopping till later. I've got too much to do at the moment. So, uh, so yeah, she had... Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? That's so sparkly. Oh, man, that's beautiful. Yeah, that's definitely the same colour as Puddle Duck, I'm sure of it, when we did a flower on that. So... Yeah, she brought back these chalcodone. They're called chalcodone salt and vinegar. And oh man, the flavour is to die for. It is so strong with vinegar. And it's making my mouth water at the moment just thinking about it. Because they say that when your mouth waters, it's so the saying goes, it, it's because you fancy something to eat. And. Um, they were one pound sixty five, but they're so lovely. The crunch is beautiful because it's it's a, like a hard crisp. So as you bite into it, you're just flabbergasted. No, that's not the right word. So when you just bite into it, you're just loaded with this full on vinegar flavour. And oh, I could really eat some of them now. So yeah, we've done that, and then about an hour later, I bought my train ticket, and then. Got on the 4.35 train, came back here, and then uh, shortly after I made a cuppa and I decided, right, I've still got a bit of daylight left, I'm going to start on the doll's house. And I didn't plan to do all three issues, but I did, and it just gets it out of the way then, you know, the backlog's cleared then, because... There's no point holding it up if you can get it done. So I thought, right, I'll get these done and then that'll just ease the pressure tomorrow because I knew that today I needed to get this card done. So I tried to get as much done, as as much daylight as we've got, I tried to get as much done. So then I'd done a bit of, I'd done two military watches after that. So I filmed four, five and six. And because there's been like a, a massive delay I decided to put them up you know fairly soon and then uh, where did we get up to so yeah military watches so I've done some military watches and done two issues of them which I believe was 15 and 17 and had to replace some batteries in there so if you want to check out them you can check it out on the world of Mike channel where I've uh, this is one of the watches, so that's one of the ones. That was the last one that I filmed yesterday. And then I've got the backlogs clearing on that, but then I've got about 20 other watches just turned up. So, uh, yeah. So then after that, it sort of got round to about tea time. Uh, not tea time, dinner time. So then I put on chicken, uh, southern fried chicken, which has got like this very hot flavour. And then I did alpha bites and mixed veg with that because I'm trying to use up the mixed veg. Nearly every meal deal that I get comes with mixed veg. So then after that, I checked my rotor to see what days I was working next week. And then I think it got to about nine o'clock and I was like, right, I really do need a cup of tea. I need to sit down. And I when I do a fit, like a... So like I'm pre-recording this, before I air it, I will always watch it back before I, you know, uh, before I air it, you know, put it into public view. Because if I don't like, like, it could be like a glitch or there's lagging or there's audio issues, I need to make sure that's corrected before it goes live. So, yeah, so... Uh, then it got to probably about 10-ish, and then I decided to read some more emails, get some paperwork done, reading my magazines, and then I got to about half 10 last night, I got to issue 44 of Eddie Stobart, so I scanned the instructions, because what I do is I read it, I then put the instructions into my scanner, and then I put it into my laptop, because I don't like magazines everywhere, so magazines waiting to be read will normally be in my Eddie Stobart file and then when I get round to reading them that's when I read them then it got to about quarter to eleven and I thought right I need to catch up on EastEnders because they've put four they've always put four episodes on every 
Monday on BBC iPlayer. So rather than watch it daily, I just tend to uh, catch up with iPlayer because then you've got a lovely four cons consecutive issues to do on that. And I don't know what's going on with Ben's character, but I mean, I think that storyline has dragged a bit now, you know. Now he's had a heart attack and all that. It, it's just, I don't like the storyline. I think they're dragging it a little bit too much and I think they need to wrap it up now. Personally, I mean, the guy that plays him, Max Bowden, I personally don't like him. Um, even though he's acting, you can see he looks like, you know, a right sort of really good character and really good actor. But I don't know what it is. There's just something there that I just don't like the way he portrays the character. He all, the way they gave him that character, it just seems like... You never know where Ben's going to go next. You know, it, it's just not like... You don't really know what's going to happen next with him. Is he going to die? Is he going to... You know, you just don't know. So I'll just put these back into here as well. So now I've finished that card. Why is he ho? So... Now what I'd like to do is get that green done at the bottom. So we'll get this little flower thing done at the bottom there. And uh, that'll be that one done. But we should be finishing up soon. So yeah. So this is mixed of I and H. So we'll do the I first. As you can see what I'm doing is I'm focusing on one colour at a time. Um, so then after that I made another cuppa. Because what I do always when I go to bed... 12 o'clock is my shut off time so that's basically where I'm like right that's it call it a day I mean sometimes if I'm really busy I I, I do drag it providing I'm off the next day because I can't do it on a work day but providing I'm off the next day I will probably stay up till two three o'clock just to try and get the backlog down but obviously I can't go shredding paper at two o'clock in the morning so I'll just like read it or catch up with any videos because on the weekends, I don't film on my other channel because I'm busy with this channel trying to get all the videos ready for the following week. So I have to sit there and go through all the pre-records and schedule them because otherwise I would forget. Um, so yeah, after that, about half 11, I made another cuppa and I decided, right, that's it, I'm going to bed. But remember that whenever I have a cup of tea, uh, whenever I go to bed, I always stay up for like an hour. So I, it's just like my chill mode, you know. Have a cup of tea, stick the TV on. And then I watched two episodes of EastEnders. And I've just got to the bit where uh, Ben has gone to hospital uh, while he suffered a heart attack. And you know when they put them electro things on to restart the heart? And they go, right, charging. I mean, if he's acting... It sort of makes you wonder, well, how do they do that, you know, because they must have, like, something underneath the bed. I mean, they can't put a shock thing on you um, if your heart's not stopped, if you get me. So they must have something under the bed that pushes the bed up to make it look like he's been charged um, with these electric things. I mean, I know in, like, things like Casualty or Holby City, you know, when they're opened up the body... And they've got like blood uh, spilling or the heart's pumping. That's done by a tube that is linked to like this artificial heart that is under the bed. And what happens is someone is under the bed, you know, pumping. They could be pumping or they could be blowing the tube to make it look like it's pumping. So I know that's what they do in that. But yeah. So I don't exactly know on that one, but it'd be interesting to find out, you know, how it's done. So, yeah. And then swiftly moving on, I think I got to bed about half one. And then even on my days off, I will set my alarm for like seven or eight in the morning because I know I've got so much done. And I have to try and keep ahead because I know that next week the next issues are coming in so i've got to try and get through all their magazines read them scan them the you know by the end the deadline is like i try and set it for tuesday because i know that then i'm flooded with more and i've got to try and keep it down 
um, and try and keep all, you know, I like to get rid of one big bag of recycling per day, that's the goal. Um, so, I try and break it up a bit, so I do a bit of reading, then do a bit of filming, do a bit of housework, because reading all day would be incredibly boring, and obviously your throat needs a rest, because when I read, I read out loud, I don't read it in my head, because I find that I keep going over the same line. So now we'll do H. Never done a full card in one session, but because it's so short, I'd like to do that. And what I'd like to do is exactly the same with like a proper 30 times 40 canvas, but I'm looking to do that as a live. So it could turn into 12 hours, 24 hours, but that is a goal. Um, it's not gonna be anytime soon, but I'm gonna think of when I could do that you know because personally I don't think this phone will have the capacity to do like 12 hours it would really struggle so this is quite nice this is like a sort of like a lime green sort of color that we're doing here so that's pretty good and then I woke up today so let's move on to today it was set my alarm for eight o'clock but you know what I'm like I then go back to bed again <laughs> And I found out what's causing my hay fever. So on my fan, it's cram packed with dust. Dust, anybody know dust? You know, from uh, Little Britain. <laughs> so I think that's contributing to the constant sneezing. So, oh look, I've just found a little why there. Right. So I really need to give that a dust. And uh, I think that should get rid of the, um, we've missed off quite a few here. I think that should get rid of the, uh, you know, the hay fever. Because dust, oh man, it really does make you sneeze a lot. But yeah. So yeah. Um, then moving on, we got to... Where did we get on to? We got on to, yeah, getting up. So then I checked... Because every time I get up, I've got loads and loads of emails. It could be up to probably 920 a day. Um, and it's mainly, as I said before, it's all to do with like special offers from like Bad Rhino, which is like a clothes shop for men or love to shop or, you know, all sorts. Because I'm signed up to so many different companies, you know, it's, I get newsletters from all these different companies I shop with. So every time I sign up to a company I shop with, I then get loads of emails. I mean, you can unsubscribe from that, but then you're missing out on the goodies. <laughs> you don't know if you get an offer. Because the great thing is sometimes with newsletters, they'll send you an offer and it'll be like 50% off. And if you weren't subscribed to that, you wouldn't get that specific offer. So, yeah. I've got a feeling we're gonna run out of camera. So, I mean, I'm trying my best to get this done in one session, but I've got a feeling the storage will run out. It won't be the battery because that's it's got the wire plugged in. But yeah, if it runs out, then it's a storage issue. Because as you can see, I've got the wire plugged in. So, but I checked me tracking because I'm waiting for my parcel from AliExpress and Fancils, and I got an email today from Hermes. I call them Herms, but same sort of thing. But I got an email today from Every, which is basically Herms, they've just changed their name, to say that my Fancils package is uh, on its way. So as you can see here, it says at the delivery depot, but normally when it says that, it will come out the same day, but it is now coming up to 12 and I don't think it's not gone out yet, but sometimes they have an afternoon slot, so, if it doesn't go out in the morning, it will go out at like four o'clock in the afternoon. So I think that's probably on an evening slot. So I was like, yes, because it just feels like ages. I mean, I ordered that, what, two weeks ago? And it's 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 definitely the longest wait I've had to wait. With AliExpress, I ordered that probably like three days ago. And within about two days, it was already you know, in the country. And what I like about AliExpress, but Ali, it looks as if they might come together because AliExpress 
goes through raw mail for some apparent reason. Um, but someone told me that they're all the same company. It's the Fancels, One Day Saving, AliExpress. It's all the same company. But yeah, item dispatched to raw mail. So I suspect any day soon for AliExpress. So uh, that's my big one. You know, I said I had like a 40 times 50. Well, that's the one I got from AliExpress. And if you're a new customer, they give you like an incentive. So they give you like a discount. And what I like about AliExpress is when you log in, it gives you updates so every time it moves like through the network they'll update you saying oh right it's here um but yeah i mean the speed from aliexpress i'm very 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 happy i mean just the word express in that gives you an indication that it's a fast service so as i said it's my first time with fancils and it's my first time with aliexpress as i said i've been trying i've been wanting to try them for so long um especially aliexpress but i've never got around to it i mean my dream would be to you know try every single company diamond painting company out there now there's another company that has just launched called home crafting or something like that um what we'll do is we'll start on b next i'll see if i can quickly find it but it's called home craft or something or home Something to do with home baggage or something like that. I don't know if I can find it now, but just having a quick look because I'm cautious of the of the um, yeah I can't find it. I'm gonna have to watch find it another time, but I'll I'll definitely show you guys. So where are we going here? B. Okay, so we'll start this colour here so we're doing really well so far and then had my shower and then uh, done some emails watched Disney Dolls House 6 back and then just aired that and then I thought right well, I want to get started on some of this now and then after this I'll probably sit down have something to eat and then I need to go and get Eddie Stobart for tonight's 7.30 live show on the other channel, World of Mike. So if you like builds or anything, and you like building models, then I do do the Eddie Stobart, which this is the wheel. So I do do that. Um, quite happy with this set of drills because I've not had to apply much wax on this one. So it's quite nice. You know when drills are dirty because they keep not picking up, but I've recently discovered a static issue when I try and pour some of them out, they get stuck to the side of these bags. So one of my friends, Tessa, said something about you put this sheet in it and then you put it in the freezer and it's supposed to separate them or something. So the next time I do that, um, I will buy some of them sheets. I don't know why we've got a battery there. That's an old one. So uh, put that in the trash. Okay, where do we get up to B? Yeah, some there. And the thing is, the longer you film, the longer the upload time, so. Oh, I've got, to, I've just realized I've got to speak to my rental, one of my rental companies, because uh, one of my things is rented, I don't own it. They come from a company called, uh, I'm not gonna say the company, but they come from a place in Wales, and basically you rent it. Very similar to Hughes Rental, you can rent things or express appliances, but I don't have the sort of cash to pay out for a washing machine, so I rent it. And there's nothing wrong with that, you know, I've got friends of mine that rent dresses. Um, because for me to buy that, that's like a whole month's wages just on that, and I just can't justify £500 on a washing machine, I mean... I've always wanted, you know, them washing machines where it's got like, as it's going round, it's got a door where you can add things to it or like, you know, the ones that you operate with your phone. But as I said, I don't understand why things have to be just 
expensive. I mean, look at the iPhone XR. That was like £600. And it's like, it's the bloody phone. Like, why has it got to be so expensive? Because uh, my phone's on the blink. Because I've, uh, with my phone, it's uh, like my new one, which is this one. It's not letting me, it's not letting me do the, uh, you know, the Apple Pay thing. Because I think the chip's gone. Because when I tried to load my ticket, because with my train ticket, I put it on a smart code. And then you put the, you, you sort of hover your phone over the card and it reads it and puts it on your phone. And I think the chip's gone in it. So the, A, the air tag, the NFC tag is gone. Um, I've tried reinstalling and upstalling the app or, but yeah, it, it just won't load. So I've had to go back to the old phone and do it that way. So, I mean, it still operates in that, um, but obviously I shouldn't have to use another phone to get the tag, so I'm going to have to probably look for another phone again. So, but at the moment it's still okay, it still rings and texts and does that sort of thing. Okay, so I really hope that we don't run out of storage, but the other thing is the phone could get a little bit too hot, but try and stay positive and it should be okay. <laughs> so now I think I've really caught up. I've uh, run out of things to say, I think. <laughs> That was just like a false laugh. <laughs> but yeah, I think after this, I would like to at least start on the uh, housework. And then I really want to, I've got, I've set myself this goal to try and do the dragon today. I need to try and get the bounty done, the HMS victory, the, Sol, uh, the Solly Royal, and the San Philippe, and definitely the Bassa. I mean, I've got eight packs of that, and I just haven't started yet. So, I just feel like there's so much on top of me that I need to do. And it is stressful, you know. You've got to try and get everything done as much as you can. But and this is the thing, like I just, I just, you know, go on and on and on and on with no break, and I just try and get through the day. Very little to eat. But I, I have to say this, I don't have time to eat. And I should, I've got to try and teach myself to, you know, teach myself I have to eat or, you know, it causes you to feel unwell and stuff like that. But when you do the amount of projects I do, it's, a, it's hard work. It really is hard work. That's why you've not seen the doll's house for so long because one, we've had to wait for replacements, and two, it's just so time-consuming. I mean, some issue, you saw issue five, it had quite a lot in there to do, so it could be pages and pages, so, yeah. But I think what I should do is once a month I should do like a live video and do like all the painting in one day. I quite like the idea of that. But we won't stop, we will just continue it until it's finished. I've never really done that before. Um, partly because one, I would probably find it boring and I would need a break. But I would take like regular breaks and stuff like that. But I just, maybe 12 hours I don't know, but that is something I'm thinking about doing. Don't even know what when we started this video, but so far we're doing pretty good. So yeah, I've got to do Eddie Stobart later. That's providing it's in because every time I've gone there so far, they've been missing a bin. And they keep on doing this because when I went to get my doll's house, uh, not the doll's house, the Dodge, they were missing a bin. So, yeah. 
so as you can see what I'm doing here is I'm just focusing on the one colour at the moment. I think it's, you know, best to start on one colour. Partly because, again, if I had enough trays, I would do it in, you know, do all the colour changes. But I haven't got enough trays available at the moment. And I was looking at that um, diamond painting dragon thing. And it's actually got wax and glue. So I'm wondering if you actually glue the, put glue all over the dragon and then you stick that to that or what. But apparently there's an activity book. So I'm wondering if you have more activities than just the dragon and maybe that's why we've got some glue with it. Um, I don't know. But isn't it marvellous, isn't it? You know, they, all the deliveries, I wait all that time and then the minute I go home, they then decide to deliver it. It's always the way. But then some of them are movie related and some aren't. So, do you know what? I've seen this lovely painting. It's of a woman's eye and the colour in it is unbelievable. So, yeah, I, uh, I've seen that and it looks the bomb.com. So, yeah. Such as the generation goes to keep you song. The worst chore I hate. I don't know about you. Let me know in the comments uh, what, like, what's your worst chore. Basically, a chore is like a house housework. But, you know, like when parents set their kids things to do, like hoover the floor stuff like that let me know in the comments what your favorite chore is and what your worst chore is but i'd really like to know um i would love to know what the what your worst chore is and what your favorite is my favorite chore is obviously i wouldn't say it's a chore but i would say reading but if it's a chore i would then say spring cleaning i love working with i love spring cleaning you know the best part is polishing you know feather dusting dusting and all that but my absolute worst chore is tidying up because the problem is with tidying up is you're moving things around the room so you think right we move it there but then it gets a bit further around the room and you think oh great we're tidying it up but what you're actually doing is you're actually moving it just around the room <laughs> And I've had to report a repair again because the idiot that came out and done the bathroom flooring has, um, when he was fitting the toilet, he's broke the pipe. So basically, he's my pipe is leaking because where he's put this new adapter thing on it, it's leaking. So obviously under here, this is where... This is where I've had to put the tray because the pipe there is leaking. So I don't know what he's done to it. And I reported it as urgent, but you know what these people are like. They don't like to come out until it suits them. And it's like, no, it's, you know, if it leaks downstairs and all through the other flats, then, you know, I'm not going to be held responsible for that because you won't come out. So... Nothing's the same anymore, you know, like when they say it's an emergency, it's like my mum, she's waiting for her unit to be put back because we had a ga she had a gas leak and, uh, you know, it's, it's just ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. You know, I'll, I'll, you'll have to wait till the 2nd of August. Yeah, but we, you know, we can't, how can we work with a kitchen with no unit in? Do you see what I mean? Like, it's, it's just stupid. So, yeah, sadly, these companies don't like doing anything. It has to be their way or no way. But what they did was they actually capped it off. So they put, like, a tag thing around her pipe. And then the guy came out, I think it was, like, two days ago. And he came out on my mum's birthday. Like, yeah, wow. So he obviously ripped the cabinet out. And then this other guy came back the day after, even though saying it would be the same day. This other guy came back and he put, he cut out the faulty pipe because apparently what's happened is the boiler pipe where the water goes into has corroded and obviously broke. 
and gave way, I suppose. And that's obviously corroded the copper pipe. So we put a new pipe in and the water pipe as well. And then, uh, yeah, that's the gas back on. But obviously, they declined her compensation. And I was like, no, I'll put it in right in, you know. They've caused you, they've said it's an emergency. An emergency is supposed to be within the next two hours. And they said they're not coming today. They don't understand why they've allocated that job. And I said, we'll get compensation. And the lady was like, no, you won't get it. And I'm like, bullshit. You will get that because you've, you know, if that was me, I'll be straight on that phone and I'm, I'll am be saying, excuse me, you know, you have caused us no gas for 24 hours and we had food in the fridge where obviously we couldn't put it in the freezer and obviously we had to chuck it away. So we thawed out, we basically thawed out these chops ready for dinner and then after we didn't realise that there was a gas leak so obviously it's all, we've had to chuck them away because you can't refreeze them. So yeah, they ain't going to do that because it means spending money. So, but yeah. I mean, I'm very successful with complaints, you know. Ten times out of ten, I win the complaint. So, companies know not to mess with me. So, because uh, chances are I'm always going to win. <laughs> Which is true. I mean, every complaint I've done, I've always won the case. So, yeah. Right, where are we getting up to? So, I have to say, I don't know how long we've been doing this because I didn't recall the time of when we did this but I'm really enjoying this one it's uh, quite lovely Betty Boo one of my I actually saw this video of this woman that did a fan source unboxing and she had a, um, a Betty Boop I mean I've got to be honest with you I don't really know what Betty Boop character is about um so if anyone really knows a bit about betty boop then do uh let me know because i don't really know what the what apparently she's supposed to be a very famous character or something i mean is she a famous art uh artist or is she you know what's her gimmick what's she famous for because i'm struggling to say and then one of my friends, Tessa, she's done a really good Looney Tunes um, video and it looks the bomb.com. What I will say is I have noticed that YouTube keep turning my comments off for the Spider-Man and Iron Man. Unfortunately, I have no control over that because every time I turn them back on, they then turn them off again. And I think what it is, it's, it's to do with this um, copper thing, which is the copper age restriction thing. Um, but the, it's something to do with if your content looks like it appeals to like a kid then they turn the comments off or something like that I was reading but yeah I, unfortunately it is annoying because obviously you know I like hearing your feedback but it's out of my control if they turn them off and I turn them on again they just turn them off again so but it's really weird because they don't do it on my Spider-Man and they don't do it on some of the other paintings but i suppose if it appeals to a kid then they'll turn it off but they do have a robot system that automatically detects and i some of the paintings i do i think i think you're wrong here because you know it is just ridiculous so some of the paintings i sort of look and i think yeah i think you've probably made a mistake there But, I don't know. So, yeah, I just wanted to clarify. It's not me that's doing it. It's YouTube doing it. And they seem to be doing it to a lot of other people as well. So, unfortunately. Right, I think we've just got this little bit to do down here. And then that colour should be finished.
So now I've got to try and hunt down another card that I like. These are brilliant cards. I mean, as I said, they're perfect for like gifts. They've got five pounds. Um, they're only like a five of each and they come so quick. I mean, considering some of them are not on Prime, they do come fairly quick. So I, I definitely say I do really thoroughly enjoy doing cards. So I definitely would say that cards are my favourite. I got this giant teddy bear the other day and it's Peter Rabbit's dad. So basically I had I've got Peter Rabbit that I did for Molly um to put in her bed as like a little cuddly toy from the works uh, not the works, the build a bear workshop and it was like limited edition and then I found this giant bunny um for two quid and it's humongous and I showed it to my mum because I you know I'm 29 but I do love my plush toys you know I love plush cuddly toys and you know I never I often I think you'd you know you're never too old to have a cuddly toy I mean there's a guy called Jay Jay's channel and he basically deals with like the doll's house and he does like um He's got a, is it a Morris Minor vehicle or something he builds from France? And he does a lot of Lego things and Lecumkey crates and all sorts like that. And he bought me this bear um, from a pirate, it's like a pirate bear. And I'll always remember that because it was basically this bear that he got out of a grabbing machine, I believe. Or he had to get tokens for it, but... I really liked it and he was very very lovely and got me it and I, I've always it's a memoir for me and I love it very much it's got like a little bandana on it I have to try and show you guys someday but what I'd like to do now is I think we'll get some lighter color into this now so we'll do D we are now three packs away so we should be finishing very up but finishing very shortly hopefully we're still okay for storage because the cameras doing okay so very very pleased with that so very very good so that's d um so yeah let's i'm gonna have a bit of a coffee lovely because you to be fair with you you your throat does dry up if you keep talking but i think we've covered quite a lot i mean considering that i normally run out of things to say i think we've done pretty well um so this is quite nice because this is like the eyeshadow now but as i said this is just like a like a test to see if i to see how long it takes to do a card in one session i mean obviously i could speed up a bit if i wanted to but then that's where you sort of make mistakes and you put the drills in the wrong places so slowly and steady as the tortoise says but that reminds me, I'm looking to get some, I want to do a shark and I want to do a wow painting. So, yeah, that's pretty good. I like that. So, I'll just get some more wax. AliExpress are doing some stickers very similar to this. It's a massive roll for like one pound something. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that that's brilliant. But, yeah, I can't... This 40 time 50, that is going to be a whopper. But, you know, we've got to do it. What I find is with the Whoppers, um, like the big ones, is it's okay doing the outer edge, but then it's trying to get into the middle that that's where it's a bit difficult because you find, like, especially with landscape ones, I mean, portrait ones you could probably hang off the edge of your desk, but with landscapes, they're quite difficult because you have to lean over into the picture to get that sorted, so... Yeah, I've got a few landscape ones. Uh, ones are custom. I think all my landscapes are customs. But I used to do a painting of Molly a very long time ago. But it was awful. It came out nothing like 
the picture I sent them. They did the drills far too light and yeah, it didn't really work. It was just a really, really horrible, horrible painting. It just didn't really go with the flow. You know, all the colors are supposed to mingle in with one another and this one just looked like two different dogs put together. You know, it was it looked nothing like Molly. And that was the picture I sent them. And they said, right, we're really sorry. We'll give you another one if you've got if you got another painting. Because I said, well, I'm you know my concern is that it could happen exactly the same as this one. And yes, yeah, they were like, right, have you got another painting then? And I said, well, can you do this one? And this one was like trees. Um. So yeah. But yeah, my ambition or my goal is I would like to try every company out there that do diamond painting. I really want to try this company called Double Diamond or Diamond Double or something like that. But I can't find them. Every time I look, you know, type it into Google, they won't, it won't come up. But I'm sure it's called Double Diamond or something like that. Because I saw a video and it has a lovely orange, uh, orange tray. So, yeah. So this will form the Wednesday video, so today's video. Obviously, I don't know. Um, I don't know what Wednesday is normally. What Wednesday's video normally is? I think it's Puddle Duck. Um, but I only got as far as scheduling Monday and Tuesdays, and then I've got to try and get Wednesday done. So yeah. But the thing is with diamond painting, as I said, it gives you something to talk about. Because when you're sort of like building models, you're basically instructing people how it's put together. Um, but with diamond painting, you get like, you can talk about the things you're doing. So, yeah. But apparently, my friend was saying that apparently this is called, when you talk and you diamond paint, it's called a whip and chat. So I might, um, I might, uh, you know, do more whip and chats, but I think I'd do a whip and chat anyway, so. <laughs> but yeah, I can't wait to see the paintings. Um, I'm not gonna go over there today because if AliExpress is due any time, then I might as well wait until that's delivered and then I'll, go and visit and pick them up but yeah okay so we're doing very good on time as well so got a couple of drills that have got stuck here so let me just sort that out but we should be coming up to the end of this now i think we've got two more colors which is c and e and we should be near enough finished as I said, it's touch and go at the moment. I don't know how much storage we've got left. Um, with That was one of the downfalls with iPhone, is iPhone doesn't tell you how much storage you've got while you're filming. With Samsung phones, there's a little counter that comes on the screen as you're recording, and it will go, you've got this much out of this much to use. So I can judge when to finish it or not, and that's one of the downfalls of Samsung. I do love Samsung, but ever since I got water damage on the old phone, I can't get that make anymore. It was like an AE20 uh, or A20 something, and I can't get that make anymore. It's almost like they've discontinued making that brand. It was such a lovely phone. I mean, it's, again, with iPhone, you can't put calls on hold, whereas with Samsung, you can. So... I would definitely 100% move back to uh, Samsung. I think I've, you know, I've. they all have their different sort of pros and cons. But with me, I've, uh, I, I've been with iPhone for quite some time now. I've always had an iPhone. So I would like to venture out to Samsung. I would like to get a Samsung Galaxy, but it's so expensive, £300. I mean, I don't really want... I'm very mindful with me. I'm very mindful on what I spend things on. So, with me, money's just a figure, you know, if I wanted, like, if I really like the look of something, say, like, I don't know, these pair of scissors were £45, I don't care, you know, it's just a figure, I'll pay it, you know. 
but then I but then now ever since like things have gone twice as much and then obviously they're saying that bills are gonna rock it in October, I've got to try and, you know, ease back on the spending a bit because obviously I'm putting, you know, doing my best to get the accounts into credit if you like. So rather than create a because sometimes I'm naughty, I'll be honest with you, sometimes I don't pay the bill and I just spend it on paintings. <laughs> and but i i can do that because the companies understand and i say look can i pay this next month and i'll pay you a double payment and they've they're like yeah we can do that so you know i don't do it every month but i just feel like i get nothing for myself so you know sometimes i will put bills behind because my attitude is you ain't if i don't have it you don't get it unfortunately so but obviously with all bills, you know, I might be like a few months late or stuff like that, but I'll always catch up eventually. Um, but yeah, it's been, it's been quite a nice month because everything's sort of like getting back on top again now. So I'm very pleased with that. I still owe my friends some money, but I just... It, the, the problem is I've got to go back through all of the all of my diary to figure out what was the last payment made and then once i've figured that out and once i get round to it i will get the rest of that payment sorted for him um but yeah it's it's one of them jobs where you like right i'll put it i'll do that tomorrow and then it turns into the next day but i really must get that sorted because it's it isn't fair to keep making him wait and that so but yeah, I'll sort that at some point. But I've not forgot about the issue, so I'll sort that out. <sighs> I'm getting backache now because I've had to move my bed really close to here because the, um, I broke my seat. <laughs> oh my God, there was this occasion. So I've got a friend and he's named after like a spoon. And I broke this spoon and I showed it to him and he's like, you broke me. <laughs> I'll never forget that. It's the happy memories, you know. As I say, you know, um, people come, people go, you know. And I used to get, when people, you know, didn't, uh, like, we fell out or something like that. I would get, like, upset about it. And I'm thinking, you know, why is this person being like this? And then as sort of, like, times progressed, I've learned to deal with that. And I've learned that, you know, if people want to, you know not talk anymore that's fine i'm not going to lose sleep over it you know and i've learned that where people go people are all there's always new people that take over that so yeah i do have flashbacks of the you know the friendships and that but you know it's it's it does bring back memories but yeah i don't miss it at all really I know that sounds bad, but I don't. I, I, <laughs> I'm a much more cheerful person without them. So, uh, yeah. I mean, as I said, if you're up for a discussion, you want to talk about it, that's fine. But, you know, I'll only let, you know, another chance. I'll give people two chances. And then if they, if they want to be a, you know be the same way and don't want to talk about the problem then that's fine you know i'm up for conciliation and you know talk about the problem if you want to have a discussion and try and resolve it then that's fine but obviously if you don't want if you're just going to be exactly the same and you've not changed then i'm not going to you know talk to you so i've actually felt much better in myself as well since like moving away from them so this is really gorgeous you know this white against this pink poncho thing i think it's a poncho there's this thing oh my god i've so got to get it it's called a snuggy wuggy and basically it's this massive like jumper thing that just sits over you and it covers your legs and your arms as well so it's it's basically like a jumper and a hoodie or like a jumper and a tracksuit all in one um, I don't know whether I can find it, but 
if I've got time at the end of this, I'll try and show you guys. Cool, 12.15. I wonder how long this has been recording for. I can't, as I said, I should have... I don't know what time we started, you see, so... I've done quite a lot, though, so I'm hopeful that we can finish this in one session, but there is the chance that, just to pre-warn you guys, it could run out of storage, so I could have underestimated it again. I really must get File Adder 9 sorted out because that got paused because there's a part missing. I think it's a spring or something. So, with the Bismarck, what I'm going to do, because I do understand there's viewers on this channel that also watch my other channel. So, I'm basically talking about models that I do on my other channel, World of Mike. With the Bismarck, I have decided that I'm going to move that forward and we'll just replace the hook thing at a later date when we find it. It's not going to cause too much interruption, but if we hold it back any further, it's never going to get moved up a bit down the line, you know? So, uh, yeah. But yeah, still no news on uh, Eager Moss is there, so I don't know what the hell's happening with that. I mean, we know it's with the administrators, but yeah, nothing seems to, no indication or any update from them, so. Right, okay, so we're finished with the D, so we'll put that in our little bag, and then we can, uh, we've got two more colours to do. I really would, I really hope and pray that, you know, we've got enough storage, but I probably spoke too soon. We're all good for now, can we do it? I don't know. <laughs> So we'll do E next, and we've got one bag left after that, which is C. So hopefully we can crack this, hopefully. So I'm just doing the uh, foot of the Flopsy Bunnies at the moment. Hello, uh, a tweet. There's something really spooky coming to World of Mike soon. Uh, I've got a spooky little challenge coming. It's not a challenge, it's like a subscription thing, but there's a spooky um, unboxing thing. And I'm really tempted to do it in October, but because it's new, I want to try and do it as soon as it comes, really. But I'm probably going to save it to October. So I'll film it and then launch it in October. I actually, I know I actually started filming the December videos so in December I do a different thing I do like a different project each day so the idea is is that I do something different each day and I've actually started doing the filming for that I didn't want to but it will just get it out the way the filming stuff like for th months where I don't have themed months because I try to do each month themed like this month is basically based around Peter Rabbit, but I just, you know what it's like when I've tried, I mean, look at the starfish diamond painting, that's really gone out the window because it's not, it's supposed to have been every day and we've just got so delayed with like colors and that. So it probably will have to be rolled over till next year, but yeah. So I started the filming on that. And it feels weird doing like a Christmas thing in the middle of July. But this is what EastEnders would do. They would film like six months. Or I think they film six weeks or six months ahead. And then them episodes get aired like several months down the line. But it, it's just filming in... Like filming in advance just makes life easier you know it just ensures that you know most of it's done do you know what all you ever hear down this road is poxy sirens if it ain't an ambulance it's a fire brigade if it ain't a fire brigade it's the police if it ain't the police it's the end you know the fire engine it's just so annoying every time you film there's a siren go through it i don't know if you guys can hear that but I've never known a town to have so many call-outs for the emergency services, you know. I'm absolutely so shocked that this is 
still recording. I really thought we would have run out of storage by then. So thank you very much, God. I appreciate that. You are working your magic. As I said, these are designed to give as a card, but they're too good. They are too nice to give away as a card. I just think they're so lovely. Let's get a bit more wax. Okay, so that's that one, yep. But as I said, this is like a one-off, so I'm not going to do another card all in one session again. This is just a test to see how long it would take to do a card in one session. So I don't plan on doing this, you know, every time. I like to do it in sections. So this is just like a test to see how long it would take to do a card in one day. But it's nice we've got this done in one day. Well, hopefully, I, I, I'm, I've got a feeling that the storage will run out. So that's why I'm thinking that we're not going to get it done in time. But I could be wrong. You know, you never know. What you want, wanna what you want is me, but you need to say me and I find you for it. Parlay. Do you remember that word from? <laughs> It was always uh, Regatti and whatever the uh, Pintle, weren't it? Regatti and Pit, Regatti or Regatti and Pintle. It's so funny when the monkey runs off with the eye and he licks it. I wonder how they did that in filming because obviously the actor's real eye is there, but obviously in the film he puts it back in. So it's obviously some sort of CGI technique, which is computer generated image. But it's like Wallace and Gromit. I'd love to do a painting on Wallace and Gromit. And apparently, when they make their movies, it takes them four years because as they're filming it, they have to move the arm, then film it, move the leg, then film it, move the arm, then fit. It must take absolutely ages to film all them little clips and put them all together. I mean, that must, that must really take forever to do. What you want, Warner, oh, what you want is me. But you need to see me in a brand new LA. That's from a song called... Well, it's actually a song from a com, uh, from a musical called Legally Blonde. Where it goes... Oh my God, oh my God, you guys. Looks like girls gonna win the prize. La 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 la. This one qualifies. Oh my God, you guys. Oh my God, this is happening. I always remember when I crewed on that, we had a little dog that came out. A real dog and he bolted through the uh through the door it was so funny i have worked on productions where we've had we've done oliver and the dog was deaf so they had to use like a little laser to point on the floor to get him to come across the floor so i mean training a dog is i should imagine <laughs> it's so funny um should imagine so you know takes so long so there was this other show that we did called something Betty, Betty Blue Eyes. And I said, well, why are they using a stuffed pig? You know, a pretend bomb, why can't they use a real pig? <laughs> and I spoke to my stage manager, Graham, and he was like, well, I don't think you could train a pig <laughs> as well as you could do a dog. So I, I, felt, so, I felt so like... I felt like a complete dickhead for doing that because I was like, of course you can't train a pig. I mean, it goes <laughs> like that. So <laughs> could, you, <laughs> could you imagine it coming across the stage and it's going <laughs> like that? Oh man, that would, could you imagine it on the microphone? Bloody hell, that would be hilarious. But their next, um, their next musical is, I believe it's based on the Whitton fire. So ages ago, there's this wood in Whitton called James Cook Wood. And so the story goes, apparently this boy was hanged for setting light to the wood. But then it turns out that it weren't him. And he got hanged and basically lost his life. And it weren't even him that did it. So it was named after him. Because apparently he set the fires off and it weren't him. So, yeah. 
I can't believe the amount of stuff we've covered in this session and I really thought I would struggle because I normally run out of things to say but I think we've done pretty well actually so I'm just doing the foot of the other bunny here but this one was so lovely and I really enjoyed it and like every night I'll just see if they've got any other ones and I'll add them to my wish list and stuff like that so it's really really good. But yeah, I mean, I really do need an office chair, but I, I am not paying £60 for a chair. I think that's ridiculous. No, I just can't justify that cost. But I was watching World Wayne's channel and apparently his um, spindles come off his chair. His uh, gammon chair is broke or something, so... Uh, as he moves the spindles rolling around i had a chair like that once uh it was a lovely chair it came from germany because they didn't have it in stock and it was a lovely chair and it was the gas lift went in it so you know the lever that pulls the chair up and down to the height you want it well the gas lever went so whether i was too heavy for it i don't know but it just wouldn't lift up so Sadly, I had to chuck it because I can't sit on a chair. It was still working proper, you know, a full operational chair. And then another chair that I had with the similar make, uh, the seat snap, uh, the, one of the wheels snapped off. So I had to take all the wheels off and it wouldn't wheel around anymore. And then it made it uneven and it used to tilt. And yeah, I had to get rid of it. So. Yabba dabba doo, it's the Flintstones, man, the Flintstones. Abby, yabba dabba doo, da day. Don't think this pen is pretty groovy. It's lovely, isn't it? Oh, I really hope we can finish this in one session because we're almost finished with this colour. You watch, it's going to run out, I bet ya. I'm trying to stay positive, but. Be positive, lay down along the floor, be positive, cause I'm positive, la 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 la. That's another song from Legally Blonde. We've actually done that, I actually worked on the one with the Mercury Theatre, so I did the Mercury Theatre version, I crewed on that, but I didn't do the, I didn't do the um, Witten version, so... I think at the time I was working and I couldn't be there at the same time or something like that. So that's way back when I used to do night work. It was good money, you know, night shift. You would uh, get good pay for that because it's unsociable hours. But again, it, it it wasn't really a life, you know. You, you just sort of slept all through the day and then it would muck you up. Because you never really saw your family during the day because you're always sleeping because of work and my brother does that now so he does night shift so what you want wanna what you want is me but you need to see me in a brand new LA right I think that's E done, but I've just noticed we've got a couple over here and we should be done and on the last colour on this one. And after this, I want to try and get that dragon sorted out. Okay, I think I'm absolutely positively sure than not that that is the end of the E colour. We're now on the final stage, the final colour. Will we get this done on the same recording or is it going to run out of storage who knows you decide oh, I really hope we can please God please oh. mamma mia mamma mia mamma mia mamma mia that's the coffee one do you know that shot from Molly Murray sent me to the coffee shop yeah. this one's for the girls I can't start thinking about you this one's for the girls 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 all around the world I love to love to love love to love those girls. Meet me at the coffee shop, but not a chance and nothing, not for free. What about the world from around the way? It's not all, baby, that's okay. 
talks to me and still you blow my mind. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So I've just realised I've got to try and think of something for this painting to be took over. Because my uh, the box is not easy to get to at the moment because the bed is covering it. Um, so I will announce it in a different video. Um, this painting has gone so lovely together. As I said, let me know in the comments, guys, if these are... Because obviously I, I've only been diamond painting, what, for a year and a half now. So, obviously, if anyone knows if people make the colours or is it a programme that does it for them. Like, I'm wondering if the photo, like, they, you get your photo and then they put it into a programme and the computer decides it or the programme decides the colours. Or is someone physically sitting there choosing which colour goes best for that picture? It would be keen to know. And going back to the Molly's painting, I am really, really so annoyed with it. I would like to chuck it away. But, as I said, I am I like problem solving. So I'm going to still crack on with it. But obviously if it comes and then make a judgement once I've finished the whole lot. Um, I've got a massive Root Master one that I still haven't worked on. I mean, that was sort of like a live one. So I'm wondering if I should take that off and do it as a as like a uh off camera project because i've been working on my flowers um so i'll try and show you at the end and that was an off camera project and i really regret it because i would have loved to have shown you guys on camera but when I'm at my relatives and I visit, I like to do a bit of painting there, but like an off-camera project, just listening to music and stuff like that. So, yeah. Baby mine, don't you cry. I love that song, it's from Dumbo. Dumbo. <laughs> Baby the best one is when Jonathan Antoine sings it. He's got a beautiful, beautiful voice. Look, we're getting the first bunny wunny. Bunny wubby. Bunny wubby. Bunny wabbit done. Ding dong bunny parari kokana. Diddly diddy there they are standing in a row. Have a banana. <laughs> no, it, it is actually a scene in uh, Gnomeo and Juliet where he goes Ding dong bunny parari coconut diddly diddy He's running through the garden with this light mankini thing on Well, I'm absolutely amazed that this camera is still rolling I don't know, but I've I think we've cracked it guys I think we're going to do this my gut feeling is it's not going to make it, but I could be wrong. Could be wrong, guys. Could be wrong. I really want to get a gnome painting. I'm going to have to have a hunt around because I really want to do a gnome painting. What you want? What I want you want is me, but you need to see me in a brand new LA. What you want? I've got a Roxy microphone, it's called Roxy. <laughs> and when you sign up to Roxy, it's like a TV app karaoke thing. And you pay one pound for the microphone. It's really, really good. Hello from the outside. I say we tell a thousand times Plan saw everything they have done Hello, it's me I was wondering if after all this year She'd like to me to go over Everything they say that I'm supposed to hear you But I ain't done nothing Hello from the outside with songs, I like to try and make my own melody up. You're the beast of my melody. 
are the epicenter, something there inside of me. That's a song by um, Birdie, I think. Wow, this is so cute. This is absolutely gorgeous. It makes me, you know, just doing this painting just makes me want to watch the movie again. But like, you know, the old fashioned version where you had this bee, there was this toad in a, like a tunnel and the, this buzzy bee came swarming in because I think it had honey in there. And I think the toad at the bee or the bee at the toad or something like that. But the old fashioned one, the cartoon version, oh, it's so much better. I mean... This, the one with Domino Gleason in and um, the updated one is animated, but you can't be. This is what I'm saying about Back to the Future. They're trying to remake that and some films you just don't want to touch. That is a film you really don't want to remake. I'm sorry, but look at Ghostbusters when they did the women's version. Absolutely awful. It was ridiculous. And that, cat, and that bloody actor, Kirstine Wigg, I hate the woman she is she's just so miserable in what she does like it doesn't matter what act like it doesn't matter what character she's playing she's just a misery i just don't like her she just looks so miserable in what she does but yeah and then another character i hate is that bloody um steve carell oh my god he thinks he's funny and he really isn't Again, another miserable sort of character. Any film with him in, I don't watch. Having said that, Noah's Ark, the one that he did with Noah's Ark was pretty good. I suppose if he's doing a role that's funny, then it's not going to be funny, because I don't find him funny. But if it's like a proper film, and he's acting like in a, you know, a proper way, then that's fine. But yeah... But my relative said that apparently he's booked tickets for me to see the uh, Back to the Future. So uh, I don't know if that's true or not because he lies so much. Like he'll say, oh, we're going out today. And then he goes, right, we're not going out today. And it's like, that's one of the reasons why I don't talk to him as well. Because he, he's just a time waster. Oh, we're so close now, guys. Are oh, we going to make it? I can't tell you how beautiful this is. This is a lovely, lovely painting. The guys over at Queer Craft, I don't know if you watch this, but the, I'm, I'm telling you now, your company is amazing. I mean, I've done so many cards with this company and not one has disappointed me. So guys, you've really got a lovely company there. So yeah, pretty damn good. Right, we're on the last bunny, guys. Can we make this? Can we make it? You watch, it's going to run out any minute. Bet ya. I'll be honest, I'm mushing a bit because I'm frightened that it's not going to film in time. But after this, I'm having a nice sit down and rest for about an hour and then I'll crack on with whatever I need to do. Oh, we're so close. This is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, man. I thought Peter Rabbit was nice, but this is ten times beautifuler. It's just so pretty. You know, I've worked on paintings where it just looks awful because they've mixed up the, the colour codes wrong, the print codes all wrong, the colours are all wrong. And this is spot on. They've done a really lovely job on this. Cannot tell you how lovely this looks. It's 
So as I said, this ain't gonna be every time. We're gonna be, this is just like a one-off to see how quick or to see how long it took to do a card in one session. As I said, it's not gonna be a regular thing. It's a one-off and then moving forward, the cards will be sectioned into segments like four sessions or you know, depending on how big the card is, depends on how many segments or sessions we do. So, yeah, just going to get some more wax. Come on, baby. Last out. Come on. We're almost nearly finished. Come on, guys. Mike, 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 Mike. Do a chant. Mike, 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 Mike. <laughs> oh, I'm really panicking now. Are we going to make it? Are we going to make it? If that cuts off right as close as we are now, I'd be so bloody pissed off. Oh. It's going to do it, innit? It's going to cut off on me. Baby, baby, mine. La, 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 la. It's not me, you say. There's nothing you can do that can be done. It's easy. All you need is love. Oh, we're so close now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, man, come on. We're nearly there. Come on, hurry up. I'm running around the track. I'm passing the baton. <laughs> I've done that once and I won the race and this the guy behind me was so pissed off that I won because I overtook him but then I always wondered if the other person that took the baton would uh, you know win because they would slow down and probably not win it but wow <laughs> oh, come on. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, 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 come on. Yay! We've done it. Oh, wow. Yes, yes, yes. Get this party started on a Saturday night. Everybody's moving for me to arrive. We finished the Flopsy Bunny card. I am so pleased. We've done the target, guys. We've succeeded. That has been a beautiful painting. I hope you liked that video as much as I did uh, painting it. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Remember to tap the bell notification if you want to be notified of any further videos I do. And I will see you next time when I unveil the next painting. Have a lovely day. See you later. Bye.